Hey guys, hey, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Nassine, I'm 37, and this is my keto channel. I talk about my life, about keto, about my family, and you see what I eat here. If you like that kind of thing, give it a big thumbs up or a clicky clicky. I have four kids, a fluffy fluffy husky, two kitty kitties, and I love the clicky clickies. So uh, today is Wednesday and it is 4.52 a.m. I am getting ready to leave for work. I'm actually in the car and I've got my coffee made. I made Highland Grog by Bones with a scoop of the, actually my last scoop of the Key 2 chocolate collagen. I have vanilla left so I'll have to be reordering. And some almond milk. I have my cup for Zip Fizz later. I need to rinse it out when I get to work. And uh, I brought chocolate keto chow. No, the peanut butter chocolate keto chow in case I get hungry at work. However, I do not think I will drink it at work. I will save it for when I get home and have it for dinner like I did last night. So last night, all I had was the keto chow and then I did have four turkey patty sausages with two slices of white American cheese. And that was plenty enough for me. That's all I ate all day. I know that's not the only carb and, um, like protein I took in because I had my collagen yesterday and I did have a zip fizz which is two carbs but I mean I was I was banging it out yesterday on my macros like I did awesome does that make sense banging it out that doesn't even make sense <laughs> I was doing a good job on my macros yesterday and the day before so I'm pretty proud of myself since returning back to work I have been really good with my food so I uh, I gotta go but I'll see you at lunch hey guys it's lunchtime. Uh, I'm drinking my blue Raz bang. I have not eaten anything. I just had the one cup of coffee this morning and I'm still just drinking this halfway. Um, I did start to get a little bit hungry, but it kind of went away. I did bring my keto child like I told you this morning, but um, I didn't bring it with me in the car. It's still in the building. So I will go until I get home and then I'll probably have I think I took chicken out so we might do chicken tonight or maybe I'll drink the keto chow I'm not sure yet today is going a lot better it's actually going by fast too got got Corey's official graduation day is June 27th he has a three minute time slot for graduation three minutes they had to get online and pick um, a time slot and out of two days. So they'll be graduating, his class will be graduating on the 27th and 28th and then they have to pick a time sl slot. So he picked um, 1251, that's his time slot. They get a three minute time slot to graduate. They can have 10 guests and basically it's just those people allowed in the auditorium at that time. Graduation is so weird for the class of 2020, but at least they're still getting a graduation. So he does have some family coming from Illinois and whoever can't be in the room with us at, for the 10 people can definitely do something afterwards since it's only a three minute time slot. Um, he does have to go pick up his cap and gown and flag and class um, coin and all of that in his yearbook and everything. Next Monday, he's gonna have to walk up there and get it. Um, yeah, so that's just, I'm excited. That's coming up at the end of the month and I got my eyes checked yesterday. I think I, got, I already told you guys that. I'm excited for my glasses. I can't wait for them. I don't know. I'm just, I'm in a good mood and I'm feeling good and I'm glad that I'm back at work and I'm excited to be making uh, my full paycheck again. And just, I'm, I'm very proud of myself for my eating. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for the scale to start going down even more. How are you guys doing? What have you guys been eating? Are you guys struggling? Are, is your state starting to open back up? I I struggled. I will tell you that I really struggled. And, and it was after I, you know, I, I started feeling a little bit better about the COVID thing. I started struggling more up just with like the being home and always having the food there. That That's the thing that was really hard is when I'm at work and I'm away, I can't eat unless I bring it with me. When I'm at home, it's just there. So that was a struggle. And it was pretty warm. It was pretty warm yesterday too. I think it was like 89. But today it seems a little cooler and we may have some storms. Maybe, can't wait. I love thunderstorms. All right, I'm just rambling. So I'm gonna get off of here and I'm gonna check my email and I forgot to upload my video today. 
Uh, I guess I'm gonna upload my video. Wow, I drove with my windows open and my hair is wild. So I just got home and my nutrition order came and I wanna show you guys what I ordered. All right, so I got some of this zero carb bread. It says to freeze this stuff um, after I get it. So this is zero net carbs. This, you can see the macros here, 45 calories per slice, two grams of fat per slice. It is zero net carbs, seven total carbs and seven grams of protein. There are the ingredients. Pause it if you wanna read that. This plain bread from the Great Low Carb Company. This for one slice, it is three grams of fat, one net carb, seven grams of protein, and 25 calories, no, 60 calories. And here's the ingredients. I got these garlic butter bagels, also from the Great Low Carb Company. Here are the macros for one bagel. I got this garlic butter pretzel from the Great Low Carb Company. Here are other macros. I got this Keto & Co. Buttercream Keto Frosting Mix. I swear, I think that if I remember correctly, Erin tried this and she really, really liked it. And I thought that I got a keto cake mix, but I must have taken it out of my cart because it's not on the receipt. But it's 0.5 net carbs per serving. Here are the macros. I got this thing of spaghetti. Oh, I thought it was falling out. This thing of spaghetti, also from the Great Low Carb Company. Serving size is two ounces. There's four servings in this. Here are the macros. And then I got the Kitu Super Espresso. These are in, are these hazelnut? No, these are the caramel. So I got a pack of these to try. So that's my nutrition order. All right guys, this is my dinner. I have half of a garlic pickle. I have a little salad with some ranch and some Asiago um, of those Asiago cheese crisps. I have two sandwiches here with the zero carb bread and two slices of salami, two slices of pepperoni, and two slices of ham and a slice of American cheese, mayo, mustard on each sandwich. I don't know if this is, if I will eat both of them. And a diet Dr. Pepper and cream soda. This is my dinner. Oh, I did have two beef hot dogs. This is my only meal of the day. I've not eaten anything. So I'm going to have this. And today is Wednesday. So I'm gonna eat this. And if I do end up eating anything else, I will definitely let you guys know. Otherwise, I am going to close out the vlog today. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. So here I am making two sandwiches, a salad, a pickle, thinking I'm gonna have this big meal. I ate one sandwich. I gave my salad to Corey, didn't even touch it, and I had, and I ate my pickle, but I have an entire another sandwich here, and I am stuffed. I could barely finish the first salad. First salad? <sighs> I'm tired. So I'm gonna put this in a Ziploc baggie, and if I get hungry later, I can eat it, or I can save it for tomorrow, or whatever. So I'm gonna go. Hey guys, it's Thursday. It is 4.52 a.m. So I gotta make this one quick because I usually leave at 4.50. Um, yeah, good day. I was pleasantly surprised with what I ate yesterday. One sandwich and a pickle. And I did end up having one of those Duncan Hines chocolate cake bowls. They're like, they're five carbs. So I ended up having for the day I think like seven carbs, that's pretty good. So um, today I just brought with me, a, I, I bring my keto chow every day because you never know. I don't wanna be stuck at work and be starving. So I brought my keto chow, the chocolate peanut butter. I brought a Diet Dr. Pepper, which I have not been drinking, but I bring it anyways. Um, for the road, I brought one of those Super Expressos. I'm gonna try. I brought the watermelon um, adrenaline shock. I really like those energy drinks. And I brought my baggie of different flavor of Zip Fizz that I got from my friend Jess. She is a subscriber of mine. She said Zip Fizz upset her stomach and everybody is different. Some products will not work for you. Some ingredients do not sit well with other people. So it, she didn't like it because it upset her stomach. So she asked me if I wanted it and I'm a big fan of Zip Fizz. So of course, and I got my Nintendo Switch. I didn't get to play yesterday. Um, today I'm only working until noon or 11, one of the two because Reese has his dentist appointment finally, so I have to leave early for that. But I have personal time, so I'll still be getting paid. All right, I gotta go, and I'll see you guys at lunch.
or not lunch. You'll see me when I get off work then, I guess. Hey guys, I'm home. It is uh, 1237 and we have a little bit before we have to get ready to go take Reese to the dentist. I just filmed a very important video speaking on the current events in the world and I got a little bit emotional. So that's why it looks like maybe I was crying, but emotional in a very supportive way. But emotional is okay and that's me and I'm emotional. So I've not eaten anything yet today and I'm not hungry. I'm gonna tell you a story, a, a terrifying story. I had my windows rolled down, I'm driving, I'm listening to music, I'm enjoying the day. All of a sudden I hear zoop and I felt something hit my ponytail. Now, you guys know I have thick hair, look at this. It hit my ponytail. I was like, that was either a beetle or a bee. I'm allergic to bees and I'm scared of them. So I start like flicking my hair. I'm like, please don't be a bee, please, please, please. I don't see anything, I'm driving, I'm driving. All of a sudden there's a bee on my leg. I'm terrified. I take the lid of something and I flick it off and then I can't find it. And I'm looking and I'm looking and I don't see it anywhere. So I had to pull over. I was going like 55. If that thing would have touched me again, I, I don't know what would have happened. So I pulled over, I jumped out of the car, could not find this bee anywhere. So for the rest of my 35 minute drive, I was terrified that a bee was going to come up my leg and sting me. I never seen the bee again. I don't know where it went. I'm still scared to go in my car. Isn't that the worst thing ever when a spider or a bee get in your car? Oh my God, I don't, oh. I'm gonna take the kid to the dentist and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, I just went to the store and got a couple of things. This is not all keto, most of it is. Uh, I haven't had country style ribs in forever so I picked up these boneless country style pork ribs and I'm gonna use some of that G Hughes barbecue sauce and have these probably tomorrow for dinner. Um, got some boneless pork chops. Quest bars were on sale so I grabbed two of those. Got some Tiffany, got some Tiffany? Hmm, got Tiffany some yogurt. I got two Rebels a chocolate and a peanut butter fudge. Guys, I really, really liked these energy drinks, so I grabbed more. Got six more. Got some unsweetened vanilla almond milk for my keto chows. Uh, thick and juicy burger patties. Two things of Johnsonville broth. These are for the kids. They love Sour Patch Kids. I don't know if they'll like this because it honestly, to me, it sounds disgusting, but they might like it. I got two things of the Zero Sugar Powerade, one thing of the Zero Sugar Gatorade, and some milk. All right, guys, this is dinner. This is a uh, chicken breast that I coated in a garlic herb rub that I got from somebody at work. And this is one serving of the Faye 0% Greek yogurt sweetened with some Mio. Also, I may have this Russell Stover's uh, sugar-free peanut caramel nugget that Josh gave me. Sounds good. And I'm uh, gonna have some Powerade. I'm gonna close out the vlog, I'm gonna eat dinner and uh, love everybody, love each other, take care of one another. I'll see you guys in the next one.